Hey everybody, Logan here. Today I'm bringing you fun controller video, sort of. Well, all of them are fun, right? It's because me, I bring the panache, the pizzazz, the energy. Is that energy? No, okay. <laughs> With that being said, I bought the cheapest Switch Pro wireless Pro controller on Amazon. With it coming, I, I guess, I guess it's the end of the Switch life, right? This the standard Switch life before we get its predecessor. We got this amazing Switch OLED right here. And of course the Switch Lite as well as the OG Switch. And with all the talk of the Switch 2 coming out and you know, all these big channels covering it as well. You got RGT85 talking about it. You got Spawn Wave. Everybody's talking about it. Even Nick Duel's talking about it. All the big channels, right? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to him, go right now. <laughs> with that being said, I decided to look into some interesting Amazon Nintendo Switch finds. And I saw the cheapest, I looked for it, the absolute cheapest Switch Pro wireless controller you can get. Not the Joy-Con, uh, that's for another video. But I looked for the cheapest Switch controller you can get, Pro Controller and the cheapest Switch wireless controller. And that's what we have here. The cheapest Switch wireless one. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on for notifications so you know whenever I post new content, because you know what? I also bought the cheapest Switch Pro controller on Amazon as well. And these were just funny videos. I don't expect you to go out and buy them unless you need a cheap one, if it's good. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Hopefully this thing doesn't suck. The paint job's pretty nifty. I like how the camo actually has a controller in it. It's kind of funny, but um, whew, let's see. How bad can it be, right? Right? Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Like I said, this is the cheapest. I think I got this for $13.99. Um, if you want, you can always search because prices fluctuate all the time on Amazon. As of recording, this was the cheapest one I could find. I did that on purpose because people are always complaining about price, complaining about this. Why is it so expensive? Why, why, why? People say $20 is too much sometimes. So here you go. Less than $20. I think it's interesting that it's got, I don't know why it's got that gloss black. I think it's gloss black on the top, but otherwise it's pretty standard. It's SK. I like it's for the SWH. It can be continuously used for a long time after fully charged. <laughs> Wireless Pro Game Controller from, I think that's CK? Calvin Klein? No. Wireless Pro Controller. Now it has like no features, by the way. And that is the, the color for it. There's three different variants. I didn't see those. I saw this one. This one was the least expensive. Saw one of... No, I want to say I saw this one, but uh, it was more expensive. For some reason, this was the, the cheapest of the lot. Now, it has, like, no features. According to this, large capacity battery, four switch, four PC. Don't know how you're going to use it on PC. We're not testing it there. Wireless game controller, USB charging with an instruction manual. So these are the alternate colors. Maybe that's where I saw it. I don't know. So there you go. But this is the one. Let's open this thing. Oh, it's not even sealed. And if you're wondering, no, I have not opened it previously. Okay. Product Manuel. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they always come with these tiny cables. I think the Five Below ones did too. Let's take a look and just see how tiny that is. Wow, that is short. That That is a three-foot cable. You guys can't see it, but that's a that's foot and a half. Foot and a half. So it's about a three-foot cable. All right, so this is a... Oh, wow, that feels cheap. Yep, it does have gloss up there. Not sure why that's there, but that's the design. To be honest, it does not feel terrible. It feels cheap, yes. 
so you got turbo. Oh, <laughs> that is your screenshot button. Turbo, yes, because everyone just holds that and press your button. There's your turbo. We'll check that out. Okay. They put the the color up there too, so it goes around here. Oh, so that's Oh, it's got a sticker. Why'd they do that? I don't understand that. What's the point of adding that gloss area? Can can we see through it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just a gloss black just because. To be honest, it doesn't feel terrible. It's got those loud clacky buttons. Uh, fake analog because the switch is not analog. So even if these are, it doesn't matter. Everything seems to be fine. So is there a charge initial? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's where the charge light comes. Okay. So we're going to sync this to my switch. And yeah, let's, let's see if this thing is, is any good. You know, just in the hand, it's, it's fine. It feels fine. It actually feels very comfortable. So that's a very comfortable feeling controller. Remember, $13.99. So let's grab the switch. So let's try this. After taking a look at the instruction manual, simple way to pair this is supposed to be to hold the home button. It's going to flash. And it'll just sync. Hold for four seconds. I thought I did. Oh, there we go. It's supposed to run faster. There we go. Okay, so it takes a little second. This, just pressing it, it's going to look like it goes into sync mode like the other ones, but hold it until it goes really fast. And then that's how you do it. It does have rumble, so I'll tell you that. I just noticed it there. So, like always, I test pretty much all these games with, there we go, with Crisis. Why? Because it's got all the features available right at the moment. So, movement feels nice. It's a first-person game, so you're going to get a lot of that. All right. Everything feels fine. So this is the big question that most people are going to ask. Does it have gyro? I don't know why so many people care about it because most, most people I talk to only use it for Splatoon. That's it. So, but hey, we're going to, we're going to go to the options and we're going to turn it on. Yes, it has gyro. Pretty accurate, too. So I do know this does not have NFC. So you cannot use Amiibos with it. I actually like the way the rumble feels better on this controller in this game than using the HD rumble. The HD rumble, when you're playing Crisis, is like... Bzz, bzz, it's just small little buzzes. It's really odd. This has that OG rumble, so it has that, um, I don't want to call it latency, but the rumble, go. it rumbles and then kind of goes on, kind of lags a little bit if you want, but in a good way, because it feels like uh, actual rumble instead of just bzz, bzz, like HD does. I don't know, I don't think Crisis is really optimized for HD rumble on the Switch uh, Joy-Cons, but it feels pretty nice on here. <laughs> To be honest, this is definitely worth the $13. I think it was $13.99, uh, to be precise, on Amazon with Prime shipping. So I got this one in just a couple days. It took me, I think, three days. I think it's funny that here and here you have the camo, which matches the shape of the controller. It's, yeah, see, it shows it on the box too. So no false advertising here. Honestly, just a quick uh, testing. Right out of the box, everything seems to work. Has what most people ask for. I'm going to go back and turn off the gyro because I do not like gyro. 
And I just think it it's fine. No input delay either. So there is a, I, I just noticed this, the dead zone is a bit larger than some of the other controllers that I've used, but you will not notice that for most games, especially if you're just pressing it real quick. But if you're doing a real slow, then you're going to notice a slight dead zone. Uh, well, a, a larger dead zone, I should say. But I think this feels fine. Everything about this controller feels nice. No input delay. Let's see if. Yeah, let, let me let me start some crap here. Oh, uh, that's. You know what? So one thing I I will say it's not as precise. As some of the other controllers when it comes to, again, it, you, you can tell by the dead zone when you're aiming there. That's the only issue. But most games, I don't think you're going to have that problem. Most people don't play competitive FPSs or uh, FPSs in general on the Switch, except for maybe, um, maybe, um, yeah, that's that should tell you something. I, I know Overwatch is on here, but why play it? Why play Overwatch in general? Uh, oh, Drop me uh, some titles of FPSs that you guys play on the Switch in the comments section below. I can't even think of any. I know I have some. This is the one I think I've tested the most. Most of the time it's third-person shooters. Uh, like uh, there's the Grand Theft Auto uh, Remaster Trilogy. We've got Splatoon as well. So there are a number of third-person shooters that I, I know of that I do have. But first-person. Turok. Old-school Turok. Okay. But so... Let, let me stop rambling on about uh, first-person shooters. Tell me what you guys play in the comment section below. But hey, uh, $13.99, you can search this on Amazon. You can check uh, the the image that I put up earlier if you guys do want to uh, purchase this. And you can see who it's made by. Like I said, CK, it's got some weird name, but there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Maybe this helped you out. Uh, maybe you just got a brand new Switch and you want a Pro Controller and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want something that's a little different. Uh, kind of nifty, $13.99, not bad. Free shipping with Amazon Prime. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like what I always say, be legendary. Thanks again.